once you actually have done your research and, and written the article in a revision journalist way, uh, on, on what sources do you publish? Uh, and specifically, how do you prevent censorship of publication? Um, well, so, uh, I mean, there, so my kind of ideas for how to do this correctly are much more extensive than the way I've been doing it so far, um, because I have not been subject to censorship. Um, the, for example, my newsletter, I, it's very simple. I just have a basic, um, Jekyll blog site that I update the repository for. That's where I add all of, uh, the research to, um, and that goes for my other investigations. Of course, the other, the proper investigations, those are the ones with the, the timestamps. And I always make sure to keep backups after I make major updates in case for whatever reason, it gets taken down and I lose the work um, that's up on GitHub. Um, so GitHub is not ideal for hosting because, um, you know, they're a, they're a company. They have relationships um, business wise with Microsoft and also with ice. So uh, GitHub as a company is obviously not ideal in terms of someone to rely on as a hosting provider. Um, something I'm really interested in is a project called radical um, R-E-D-I-C-L-E, which is actually, they're trying to create basically a distributed, um, Git, um, versioning client. So an actual distributed Git network. And because most people who use Git are using it through GitHub or GitLab. Um, and you, with GitLab, you can self host and that's good. Um, but I'm excited about a usable distributed, um, Git versioning network. That would be really cool to use. So I'm hoping to use that in the future. Um, and, but there's many other ways you can torrents and stuff like that to just make sure that you have backups of these things and to make sure that they can't get taken down. Uh, there's many ways to, unfortunately, the kind of journalism industry, uh, when they kind of became aware of blockchains got very heavily focused on it as a potential storage mechanism and also something basically somewhere to publish their work. Uh, which I found very annoying. I followed the civil project extensively, which was funded by consensus and they were publishing articles on the Ethereum blockchain and they did not listen to any of my arguments about, um, why that was a bad idea. And of course, predictably, they ended up failing, not raising money, uh, very quickly because, um, not only was their process, it didn't make sense to people who knew what they were talking about, but also the, they involved a token and the token had to obviously get into people's hands for it to be used. And to do that, they had to go through this whole KYC process for anyone who wanted to buy them. And it was just way too complicated for the average person. Even the person who, you know, was a, there was a journalist who like, basically this was his thing. He, he was very interested in this project and he complained about how hard it was to get these tokens. So if, if it's hard for like a dedicated person, it's going to be even harder for, you know, just a normal person who just wants to read an article to participate in this system. So, uh, yeah, blockchains as content storage mechanisms. No, like if you do that at all, it should be very limited, like the way that, uh, WikiLeaks has done it, um, in the past, um, it should not be used as like, let's just shove a bunch of words into the blockchain. Um, they just don't understand that these systems, you know, that affects their sustainability. If you're basically just shoving a bunch of data into it, that affects, as we learned with the scaling debate in Bitcoin, you, there's consequences to those kinds of actions and they just didn't pay, they didn't pay attention to that at all. But you see, what is a blockchain? Well, it's a chain of blocks and Git. Well, is also a chain of blocks. It yeah. chains that it commits. So after all, right, they were right. Put everything on the blockchain, put everything in Git repositories. All yeah. of a sudden we have revision controlled journalism. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I mean, I wish that that was, I tried to, you know, suggest that to them, like, Hey, you could do this thing that you want to do, but not in a bad way. Um, you could get, use get or something and no, there's just, there's just too much money and too much hype for people to, listen to reason so um they just failed and that's what happened and i believe now that there's some kind of advertising on the ethereum blockchain company <laughs> instead of journalism 